Guest Jet. This is a review of the All Powers S500 Portable Power Station. There's the actual unit and there's the solar panel that comes with it. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's have a look at the unit then. It's got a fold down handle that clips into place which is good. Makes it easy to store. So in that cupboard up there, it sits in there really easy. Just sits up there, pull it out when you need it. I'll put the dimensions in the video in a bit. All powers. So you've got three buttons. That one is for the Bluetooth link because it's got an app with it which you can switch various things on and off. AC on, DC on. Just press and hold them down. It gives you the visual bars and it also gives you the percentage there as well. It's saying it's giving out 6 watts which must be just to run this functions here because there's nothing plugged into it. And I think that means at 6 watts it'll last 65 hours. Lights. No flashing strobes or anything, just these lights. So they use 1 watt according to that. Um, these sockets here are three pin main sockets and they, as well as being UK they're also European which are quite good. If you do plug a power supply in for a laptop like that it does cover part of the display there but obviously that one doesn't. It just covers one of the buttons. But the better to have them higher up as some units have them down here and then when you have the unit sat like that on a shelf or a table you can't actually plug the actual power supply in because it's too low. So I quite like them up there, even if they cover that it is a compromise. In the back of my van I have one of these units. It's fused and it's on a cable for a hookup and it's one you buy for a tent for a campsite but I just have it fastened in back of here. And this 13 amp plug goes down to a socket inside the van and this one goes down to my charging unit for my mains charger. This unit can be fastened in here, sits on top of this wheel latch and strapped in with that strap and using the app on the phone I can switch on the AC and DC so if I wanted mains power I can just, without coming in the back of the van I can use the app to switch it on. So we have an output on the back here, the standard cigarette charging unit, 12 volts. This is the input for the solar panel, so it's an Anderson connector. And the interest in the solar panels that come with this, I'll show you in a minute, come with lots of different connectors. And then there's a barrel connector there for the mains adapter. That's the power brick for it, for charging it. And that just plugs in that. And there's the power lead for it. And they're the only leads that actually come with this unit. Although it can be charged through 12 volts here if you've got the other lead and I think you can buy them for about 12-15 quid off Amazon. I'll see if I've got one to show you. So this is from a different power unit but these are the leads you can buy and the plug into there. This one's actually too big for that one but you can get them with the right power connector on and they have the cigarette light uh, socket on there so you plug that into your car or your van and it'll tell, take 12 volts out of your vehicle into this and charge this as you're actually driving along. It's just a pity it doesn't come with one because it's a useful lead is that. But they're, as I say they're about 12 or 15 quid. In the instruction book there's a QR code that you just scan and that takes you through to the app. So it's nice and easy to set up. If you download the app it looks like this and then you have to pair it to the unit so you press and hold this button on here and that gives you this indicator that's ready to pair. Searching for the unit, it's found the unit, All Powers S500. So it's now linked to the unit and then it enables you through Bluetooth to switch the various bits and pieces off. So as I said before, if this is in back of the camper van and I've got a mains plugged into the unit, I can switch that um, AC side on or the DC side remotely. I can switch the lights on and off as well. Interestingly when you switch this on to the AC so the 
let's call it the mains power side, the alternating current, not the 12 volts, the mains power side. It uh, switches the fan on for a couple of seconds, but uh, it doesn't run for long. And it also gives you a display on here of how much power is left in the unit. So there's 55% left and that's equivalent to what's on here. So a very simple, straightforward app. Um, but useful if you're actually putting this into a camper van and um, you want you don't want to want to go to the actual unit if it's in your garage or something like that you can switch it on and off from there. The Bluetooth on it's quite good we tried it in the cottage and was able to um, switch this on in the kitchen switch the lights on remotely using the app on the phone and um, it's driving the dogs mad they didn't know what was going on <laughs> but yeah quite I've, there's not many I've seen um, with the small certainly the smaller units which have um, an app with them which I think is a real good adaptation it makes it extra useful so if we have it up in that cupboard there or if we have it in the garage in the back to be able to switch it on and off with this is ideal obviously you need to switch the Bluetooth on so you'd need to leave that on but if this is plugged into your charging unit in your car or your van you would switch that on anyhow because the unit would actually be charging as part of the process so this is plugged into my mains power lead into my um, MacBook Pro and this is currently using 46, 48 watts. But the thing I like about this display, and you don't get this on many, is this tells you how long this amount of power that's left in the actual battery pack in the unit will last. So this is saying if I'm using 59, 58 watts, it lasts for about 8 hours just flicking between 50 and 40 odd so eight and a half hours so the good thing about this and having that display is people always wonder will this portable camping kettle work or will my um, air straighteners work or will the air dryer work and you can plug it in it's got a safety device in so if you try to use too much power it'll switch itself off it has a surge protection on it as well so although it might only be 500 watts um, this will actually take a surge of more than that for a short period of time. We did actually plug Joe's um, air straighteners into this and they worked as well. But we tried it with our air, air, air dryer which is quite an air powered one and it just switched off. So it's safe to plug things in to test to see if they work. You're not going to damage it. It's got a safety device inside, a management system inside which is quite good. The um, wattage is 500 watts and the surge on it is up to a thousand watts and what that means is if you plug something initially and it needs lots of power so like joe's um uh, straighteners they may lay, need 600 watts initially to to start off and this doesn't switch off straight away it allows you to have more than 500 watts up to a thousand watts for a short period of time before it'll actually switch off or if the device needs initial surge to get going and that drops down to under 500 watts like many devices do this will still be okay a more efficient way of running a certainly a macbook um, i got one from my macbook uh, and this macbook pro is to use a 12 volt supply so if you see this one here i think it was going to last for about eight hours using the mains adapter through the uh, ac side but using this for the dc side for the cigarette socket it will run for nearly 12 hours 11 and a half 12 hours and it's only using 34 watts so these using these on a power supply are very inefficient because it takes the main power and then reduces it down to a low voltage and just burns up that power so this process of using these type adapters are far more efficient than using the mains adapters and not just for power supply banks like this but um, you know just generally in your camper van or in your car um, so it's a lithium-ion battery um, and it's 606 watt hours and that's at 3.7 volts and that's its capacity the weight of it is 5.4 kilograms um, the size the size measurements are on there and there we go is the consumption for the AC output 12 volts 5 amps and the second one there the car outlet is at 10 amps which is quite good because some car compressors for um, blowing up your tires are at 10 amps and there's the USB 
um, 1, 2, 3 and C output. And this also allows you to through charge and what that actually means is if you've got your solar panels plugged in the side um, it allows the power to go in through your solar panels as well as dis giving the power out the unit to whatever you're running as well. So it, it allows through charging so if you're charging a battery for a bike or something you can have that plugged in as you're driving and the power supply from your car will charge this up at the same time so it goes run through power as part of the process. There's all the outlets, the USBs which are listed on the side and the USB-C and then there's some small barrel outputs as well. We don't use these a great deal in the UK but I think in the States they do and they tend to be by like fairy lights and things. The portable solar panels are easy to set up, they unclip and fold out. On the back of each panel is a leg that enables the panel to be angled at 45 degrees to get the maximum sun. On the final panel there's a pocket with all the leads you need to click to your solar generator. Panels are 120 watt and with all the connections they'll fit a multitude of solar generators. This is the information on the actual solar panels. So there's a peak power of 120 watts plus 5%. And there's the voltage and the maximum powers all listed on there. Um, they're like a few other makes of uh, solar panels that are out there, very similar fold-out units. But this one, as I say, comes with lots of different leads, which is great. So you get all these different barrel connectors. There's a USB connector on that. Uh, it comes with the standard plug for... Um, some solar generators and this one actually uses this I think it's an Anderson connector these Anderson connectors fit into the side of this power unit so this if you were to buy this um, solar panel this one the APSP 034 BLA from all powers you get all the connections and all the leads with it which is really good there's no USB directly on here but you do actually get the adapter to fit it to the unit so you can use it as a USB as well. These are the legs that are on there and they're just velcroed on and they enable it to actually stand up at 45 degrees so you can get the best angle into the sun. And it has lots of these eyelets on as well, which I think are really good because you can actually fasten these onto the side of your car or peg it down or wherever you are, you've got somewhere to tie it off to. This is not waterproof though, it's not 100% waterproof, so you can't leave it out in the rain. It's got these little standard type clips on there, it's just undo like that, and then the panels unfold. Like so. The test I always like to do with the solar panels is that they actually fit in the windscreen. So my van's a VW Crafter. And this fits very nicely and it's about 45 degree angle as well. So if you park your van into the sun and you want to go out and do whatever you need to do, you can leave your solar panels on display in the windscreen. You do lose a bit of power through the windscreen, but you'll still get some charge into the unit from there. So they're a great fit for that. So there you are. That's the video review of the All Power S500 portable power station. And it's a solar panel with it as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Down in below the description will be all the information to the website, any discount codes, any offers and all the specifications and everything that uh, All Power has sent me and asked me to put into the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.